Hi, today I'm here to introduce you to a new jewelry brand. You know on the blog that we've been doing a lot of stories about jewelry and I'm excited about Mimi Lamour because we also did a piece about Bijou Mutants and so the trend now is to have jewelry that you can be like a fighter, like a superhero fighter. So I'm gonna let Gerard, who creates Mimi Lamour, explain to us what this collection is about. Well, thank you. Uh, Mimi Lamour, well, it's a young uh, label, young brand. Uh, it's been uh, noticed by the press uh, very quickly uh, because of this little thing, which is a little snake, happy snake, friendly snake. So in this collection, uh, it's got a little neon uh, necklace, but it's been also uh, differently uh, this past uh, winter. So uh, around the snake, there is uh, many other pieces like uh, for the summer uh, there is some uh, corals so Mimi Lamo is a lot of mix of uh, material I like uh, when it's uh, hard and soft bright and uh, low uh, light when it's uh, big and small so for example this is a good uh, Mimi Lamo uh, style jewelry which is a very uh, precious coral from uh, Murano uh, Ver de Murano from uh, Venezia so very fragile very uh, uh, Precious, and here we have a vintage tag of uh, New York dry cleaners with numbers like that, where you can pick your favorite numbers if you have one, your lucky number. And we have a little pompon, uh, which is uh, as soft as a very shiny, as a not shiny matte material, which is a uh, gold plated uh, 24 carats, and uh, some uh, fantasy uh, chains and uh, gold plated, which are different colors can uh, do a very different uh, kind of uh, necklace like a small collection in the summer collection very pretty it looks nice with your outfit thank you You're with welcome. the beard too oui. it's okay that's on good. trend too beards uh, men and beards yes good <laughs> so we have uh, larger pieces as mm -hmm. you said this is uh, made of uh, steel which is quite rare actually oh i got the other one yeah mm -hmm. so this is a major uh, cuff so uh, looks big but looks very feminine too, mm -hmm. especially on you, very mm -hmm. nice. So same is a contrast of a different color, I like silver and gold tone, which we find uh, very often, uh, different uh, colors uh, in, the, in the metal. So this is uh, one of the uh, trend of uh, Mimi Lamour is really the, the contrast and you can never take it away. Okay. You need help. Yeah. <laughs> you have to find help first. Ooh. <laughs> voilà. So uh, this is a mantra, uh, the little mantra uh, bracelets. So I call them the rainbow bracelets. So uh, it is written in French, uh, s'aimer, s'épanouir and s'écouter, which means you have to listen to yourself, to love yourself very much every morning and uh, to uh, uh, get uh, inner uh, grow. I don't know how you say uh, s'épanouir. To um, to grow with yourself. Yeah, feel good. Feel to feel better, good about feel yourself. Good. Yeah. Wow. I need these bracelets. So this is uh, actually it's pure uh, brass. So it's not precious uh, metal. But what is more precious in this is the message, of course. And also, uh, I paint every letters by hand. Each one color, one letter. So they're all different, and they're kind of rainbowish uh, color. So it's pure happiness, uh, joy. You know. So it's uh, are you. I love it. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is a rainbow bracelet and there is also a collection uh, which is a Pablo. Pablo is the name of uh, my little skull. So there, this is a white Pablo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a Mexican skull, hand painted. And uh, I uh, put uh, to my Pablo's uh, an earring which is made of little stone or uh, precious stones, semi-precious stones. And they're all different as well. So you can have white Pablo, black Pablo, okay. purple Pablo and choose your earring. Oh wow! It's skull with an earring. <laughs> so if someone wanted to order that, they could cust they could tell you how they want it because you customize the jewelry as well. Yes, yes. Uh, I do a lot of personal uh, orders in terms of lengths or wides, or you know, this could be double too uh, okay. for a big fashionista. Uh -huh. You know, it's <laughs> double uh, double cuff. Uh, this also is all the color and numbers. Uh, this uh, uh, people ask me to have a personal uh, writing on them, but. So far, I just keep it to the mantra, and okay. we have other mantra coming in. And the Pablo is uh, goes with one color and uh, an earring uh, okay. to choose, okay. and the length too, you know, because it's uh, whether sautoir, whether a collier. The snake also comes with a gold and silver, 
all silver, all gold, and with a different color of uh, chain, mm -hmm. necklace, mm -hmm. and uh, which is a, a little a pink here, yeah. and uh, how do you call this? A tassel. Tassel, mm -hmm. well, green or pink, yellow, okay. blue, whatever. So Gerard, why jewelry? Why all of a sudden you wanted to make jewelry? Well, um, good question. I started quite early in the fashion. Uh, I was uh, art directing the L uh, magazine in uh, Southeast Asia, in Hong Kong, China, Bangkok, and everything, mm -hmm. for a couple of years. But I was 19, so I did a lot of uh, models, uh, clothing, shopping, and uh, lighting uh, layout. So uh, I loved uh, this aspect of fashion, the mm -hmm. kind of. Uh, the glamour shiny uh, fashion and after I did advertising for uh, trends and styles and colors like uh, we call the uh, bureau de style mm -hmm. uh, for 10 years then I sold this and I wanted to uh, do something more uh, uh, close to the woman mm -hmm. and the man because I'm doing man too now mm -hmm. so uh, I wanted to add my little uh, stone uh, mm -hmm. to uh, the garment to the silhouette to the style of uh, the man and the woman and I was very inspired by Paris and uh, the Parisian style which is very mixed and match and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, since my environment with my travel is very uh, mixed and match very different very eclectic mm -hmm. I uh, thought I could uh, make some jewelry that would be uh, the reflection of all those different uh, environments, mm -hmm. experiences, atmosphere and uh, because I can do them uh, forever I mm -hmm. mean there is no uh, you know there's always ideas coming out so uh, I find this way of living uh, very satisfying okay. very pleasant as a creative so was this collection based off of your traveling experiences yeah it's all asia it's all uh, china it's all uh, the states uh, a lot of australia to south america mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, all this is uh, mixed somewhere in me mm -hmm. and uh, it's happening uh, with the jewelries okay so who do you see wearing your jewelry Good question. Name name one rock star. Name one pop star. M name a name a model if you can, and name okay. an actress. Okay, one for all. Yes. Most. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, no. I um, well, one rock star. Uh, I would love uh, Kiss Richard to wear this. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd love uh, Kate Moss to wear one little mantra. Well, she could write, "I love Gerard." <laughs> for example, <laughs> I am inspired by the French woman, mm -hmm. her style, the Parisian woman, which is a, a kind of a effortless style, very specific to France. Mm -hmm. You cannot explain exactly uh, how it works out, mm -hmm. but certain pieces that are put together uh, are making something very special. So that's why I, I, I like the style of our, our French muse, like Charlotte Gainsbourg, like mm -hmm. Lou Doyon, like Vanessa Paradis, a jean, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt uh, with sometimes not super clean hair, does the job. So I, I that's my favorite look. <laughs> a t shirt, a pair of jeans and so, just your so hair. So I think with this look and this mm -hmm. and, and she can uh, go out, she can go on the first date or she can go uh, on a on a big job uh, meeting. It goes all the day to the end of the night. No, I, I totally 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 agree. <laughs> if you were a superhero what superpower would you have? Uh, I'd be a super lover. <laughs> I'd love very strongly. I mean the, the, the spiritual love understand me well, <laughs> of course. I like to spread love, I like to, you know, I'm 48, I'm, I did many things and uh, now I wish uh, things could be more uh, smooth for everybody and, uh, and uh, nature could be less uh, disturbed. That's why I mm -hmm. try to do recycled leather mm -hmm. with uh, biological ink, I do it myself uh, by mm -hmm. hand all the my little pochette mm -hmm. i try to be ecological uh, in for the people and for the nature for her so i'd be a love uh, hero okay i really agree with that that's uh, how i've been feeling as, as of late i just peace and love everybody yeah, talking if we can you peace know. <laughs> it's okay we cannot always but uh, that's the know. hardest thing that's why i love these mm. bracelets because it's just like love you know love thyself believe in thyself and believe in the world like we, it, things might get better. It's possible. It's pe like, we're changing. If we can get the rest of the world, as I say, to wake up, because there are a lot of people sleeping, yeah. if we can get everybody to wake up, 
peace and love. Yes, I agree. I never know. Is it good to have more or less jewelry? What do you think? I think uh, there is no rule. Uh, it's uh, dangerous sometimes one very big jewelry. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's dangerous to do accumulation with uh, half an arm of jewelry, but it can look uh, it can look great. Sometimes minimalist jewelry too uh, one is very fine. This is not my style, as you can see. There mm -hmm. is nothing minimalist, but sometimes it can be nice. On especially very tall girl or who have already uh, move a lot of air, you mm -hmm. know, and no need to. Uh, to hear uh, gling gling noises also. So this is more minimalist. So I think it is really uh, depends uh, if if you were coming to ask for an advice in my collection to choose a jewelry, mm -hmm. I would really uh, inspect you, uh, ask you some questions about what you do, what you want to do, what how you want to look. Okay. And then I would uh, advise maybe one, two, three, maybe 10 jewelry, okay. big or small. Uh, I think oh. it is more uh, uh, regarding the personality. Okay, so your jewelry is more personal. You want a personal relationship with your client. Uh, this is uh, my, my client who buy a jewelry, which is a, an increasing number. Mm -hmm. the, the brand is new, as I said, but it's uh, working uh, quite well. Um, I see the, the, the woman, it's not really girl, huh, who, mm -hmm. who buy my jewelry, not because of the price, but because it's a bit of second degree, there mm -hmm. is a, an understanding uh, to it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, like uh, maybe 30 and, and up, uh, and uh, they know what they buy. They want this, and they want it like this, and they know exactly uh, where they, how they are going to wear it and everything. Mm -hmm. It's very personal. Uh, uh, act of buying, okay. which I like because it's uh, more rewarding too. Mm -hmm. uh, means that you you mean something for the client. Okay, where can we find you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? What shops you're in in Paris? Alors, uh, of course, I'm on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. Uh, this is a day and night for the world. But uh, in Paris, uh, I am uh, in uh, Franck Effis, for example, oh the oui. department store. I'm uh, on Rive Droite, I'm in the Set 5, which is a concept store, new, of accessories. And Rive Gauche, I am uh, in Chade, uh, which is a historical uh, accessory uh, shop uh, on uh, uh, Saint Germain. Okay. And uh, after there's the rest of the world. The list is very short. Okay. It's a pin everywhere in the world, but the list is short. Okay. And it's a very sh close relationship with the shop, and they know very well uh, me and the label. Cool. So this is how I like uh, to do it. Okay. And why the name? Last question. Mimi Lamour. It's the most important. Yes. Mimi Lamour is uh, was the name of uh, my girlfriend. Aww. Oh, Aww. so sweet. Oh. Yeah. Mimi! <laughs> voilà, Mimi Lamour, and um, so cute and sweet. And uh, I was, um, you know, trying to find a name. And um, and suddenly this one came, and I asked her if uh, she would agree, and uh, she agreed, of course. And uh, so I started with that, and I thought it is uh, not a type of word that you find on the market, and you don't expect uh, a big hairy boy behind this label so let's do it <laughs> a cute guy with a hairy beard and Mimi Lamour thank you thank you <laughs>